Hey there, today I have a short story unboxing for you. So if you're not familiar with short story, it's an online styling service for petite women. And for reference, I'm 5'1". <laughs> so I really do like this service. I've had a lot of good luck in the past getting clothes that both fit me and also fit my style, I think. <laughs> so I'll put some information about how this service works down in the description box below along with my referral link. And if you use my referral link, you'll get your first styling fee waived. And the styling fee is typically $25 and it gets applied to whatever you purchase. But anyway, this is a pretty big box. I think this is a lot bigger than the last box I got. And it's pretty heavy. So I'm excited to see what's in here. <laughs> okay, so here's what my box looks like inside. Wow, so I actually have two bundles. <laughs> okay, so you have a little booklet with how it works. And it says you actually have five days to try everything on, which is nice. And there's a note from my stylist, and my stylist is Amalia V. And you'll see there's like pictures of all of the items that are in the box and the invoice. Yeah. So I did mention to my stylist that I needed clothes for my upcoming trip to New Zealand. <laughs> I'm going there, never been there before. I, I'm pretty excited to see what it's like. So yeah, we're gonna go there in a couple months, me and my husband, and we're going with my friend and some of her friends. So yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> anyway, okay, it should be an adventure. Okay, so I did get two bundles and I'll give you a peek. Here's a peek at bundle number one. And here's a peek at bundle number two. Wow, I think it looks pretty promising. <laughs> okay, let's go over bundle number one or two. <laughs> okay, so first off, wow, I got this satin t-shirt. Hmm. <laughs> and this is by Petite Principal. And what is this? It's the Martina Satin Tee in the color ivory, size medium petite, but it says it fits like a small petite, and this is $38. So $38, actually this is, this is pretty cute, yeah? And you see it has like a little pocket. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's, it's not really that stretchy, but it's a pretty, feels substantial. Hopefully it's not too sheer. But yeah, I don't have anything like this. Looks like a nice basic. Okay, next item is a shirt. Hmm, just striped shirt. This is by Vera Moda. And this is the Katya button down shirt, ink striped snow white, size small petite, and this is $35. Huh, so yeah, it's just like a, kind of a basic looking striped shirt. Does it look like New Zealand? <laughs> Okay, and the next item, hmm, what is this? Oh, it's a dress. <laughs> okay. Huh. It's a very pretty color. I don't think I have too many things this color. It's by, is that Society? And it's the Carissa Faux Wrap dress in the color Rust, size small petite, and this is $68. Okay, so it's a faux wrap dress. Hmm, it looks actually kind of dressy. Yeah? Maybe a nice dinner dress. It's like a knit material, like a rib knit, but it looks like it's lined. Oh yeah, it's fully lined. Okay, not bad. <laughs> All right, that's item number three. Okay, and the next item, hmm. It's a jacket. Wow, it's like a moto jacket. <laughs> Are those still in? I don't know. I guess they must be. This is by Minta, and it's the Uptown Faux Suede Moto Jacket in black, size small petite, and this is $98. Yeah, so this is, I mean, it's just a pretty nice looking moto jacket. It feels nice. It has zippers on the sleeves here. Look at the back. 
Okay, I'll try it on. <laughs> I have a moto jacket from years ago that's like, I used to wear it though. I forget what brand that was. It might have just been Old Navy. <laughs> okay. All right, now bundle number two. Yeah, I appreciate it. I actually got seven items. So that's nice. You know, they used to only send five, but I think now maybe they're sending more because the last box was also seven items. Okay, oh wow. Looks like this is a, a cardigan. It's kind of a chunky cardigan. Oh, it's really, it's really soft and thick. This is nice. And it's by Common Threads. It's an extra small, small. And it's the Odalis Soft Cozy Cardigan in light gray. And it's $58. So 58 for this cardigan. I would say that's, that's not too bad, yeah? It doesn't have any buttons though. So it's just kind of like an open cardigan. And it has like two patch pockets. But yeah, I think this is, I think this is pretty nice. Okay, and next, let's see. Okay. <laughs> These are pants. Wow. Looks like linen pants. Hmm. These are by Studio Co. Yeah. And it's the Minato Linen Pant in the color teal, size small petite, and these are $68. It says the inseam on this is 25.5. So I think actually for me, I'm usually a 26 inch inseam, so this should be about maybe ankle. Huh, I don't know how I feel about linen pants though, because they wrinkle a lot. Okay, and the last item, <laughs> hmm pair of black pants okay and these are by short story so they have their own brand and these are the Clarice seamed ponte pant 24 inseam in black and it says it's in a medium petite and it fits like a small petite and these are $58 $58 okay that's actually not bad for these pants they do look like a really nice pair of pants they're pretty stretchy and they do look kind of small for a medium petite, like this waist looks small, but it's stretchy. So it's like a pull-on pant, but it does look like a work pant almost. But I don't work in an office anymore, but I think these would be more like, like a dress pant for maybe going out to dinner or something. But yeah, these are nice. So yeah, maybe this would be good for travel because yeah, like if there's a dinner, <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was everything I got in my short story box this time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here, kitty. Here are the um, teal pants. And actually these are nicer than I expected. I mean, I didn't steam them or anything. I would have to if I were to wear these. But um, yeah, actually these look really good. And they are like the perfect length. And I just, I just paired them with the sweater that I was already wearing. <laughs> and I think that actually looks nice. And Lily the cat is in the background playing. You can hear her, she found a ball. <laughs> it's a noisy one, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, I think this is actually really cute, right? This is nice. It looks very kind of like casual chic maybe and i do live in hawaii and i think you know the um, linen pants even though i said i hate linen because it wrinkles it's a very breathable fabric and it's good for the warm weather <laughs> so yeah i would say this is nice <laughs> okay so here is the satin top and i've paired it with the black ponty pants <laughs> yeah so i just front tucked it into these pants and yeah, I, I kind of like this, this top. I don't have anything like this. I think it's just a nice basic and it's not too sheer or anything. I think it's thick enough so it's not see-through. But yeah, it's just a nice basic. And I think it looks okay with these pants. These pants, to be honest, are kind of tight <laughs> and it's a medium. But yeah, I don't know if I like them to be so form-fitting. They are very stretchy pants though and there's a seam going down the front. They're almost like, yeah, almost like leggings, but um, not quite, but 
they're definitely dressier than leggings. So I think that looks okay. <laughs> and then let's try it on with the cardigan. Okay, and here is that gray cardigan, which actually, this is very nice. And the length on the sleeves looks good. I don't think it's too long, which is nice. There's my kitty. She matches. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so here's a close up on that sweater. It's just a, it's just a basic chunky gray cardigan. And it's nice and um, I think it's a nice weight. It's pretty soft, I would say. And I think this is actually a nice look, yeah? Hmm. And because this is chunky, I guess that's why you have the more fitted pants. Okay, so here is that very pretty rest colored dress. Oops. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually a very pretty dress. I mean, but I think for me, <laughs> I don't know if this is my color, and I think it's just, um, it looks, it just looks like an office dress. Like, it'd be very nice for somebody who, yeah, worked in an office. I think it's actually pretty flattering, and you feel secure. It's a wrap, but it's like a faux wrap, and it's lined. It's also pretty comfortable, because it's a knit material, and I would say it seems well made. So yeah, I mean, it's just for me, since I don't work in an office anymore, I probably um, wouldn't get much use out of it. I mean, I guess you could also use this, maybe wear this out to dinner. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's nice, but not sure if it's for me. <laughs> okay, so here's that striped shirt. Yeah, and I just have it front tucked into some jeans can take a look. So I do like stripes. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think this is this is a cute top. It's just very basic. Um, yeah, and it's like, um, okay, so it has some tab tab sleeves. Yeah, so it's it, I think this is nice. Very basic. And uh, my stylist said you could also wear this just over over a top like as like a a layered item. So yeah, you could also wear it out like this too. Hmm. Okay, let's add a purse. I forgot to add purses. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I think that actually is kind of a nice look just with jeans. Okay, so here is the moto jacket. Hmm. Yeah, so actually this is very nice. I think the sleeves are about the right length. It fits. I like how it's right, it, it falls right around waist. Yeah, these are very high-waisted jeans. And it just, I think it's like um, kind of a flattering length. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think they're nice. I think it's nice. I'm not sure if, I would make a lot of use out of it. Is this something I would take on my trip to New Zealand? I don't know. I have to think about it. But it is nice. It's very stylish. I, I just have that a tank top underneath, and it's kind of a rowdy one. <laughs> but um, it makes everything look nice. I mean, it just adds kind of, it elevates the look, right? But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I have to think about it. This is nice, though. OK, so. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think this was a, a pretty good box. I don't know what I'll be keeping just yet, but I thought everything at least fit nicely, and I thought they looked pretty nice. <laughs> but just for me, I'm not sure what really fits in with my lifestyle right now, since I'm not currently working in an office, and I'm probably gonna be just, re maybe never go back <laughs> to working in an office. But yeah, let's really quickly go over the invoice. So the total for all seven items was 423 and there's a styling fee of $25 that would just be credited to whatever I purchased so after you credit the styling fee it would be just under $400 which you know that is kind of a lot but there are seven items here but yeah I'm not going to be keeping everything and actually with short star you don't get a buy all discount like stitch fix 
so there's not really much incentive <laughs> to purchase everything so mm, I think for me that works out in my favor because sometimes I with Stitch Fix tr just try to get the discount but I think I'll probably keep like maybe one or two things from this box maybe this white t-shirt I thought this was actually kind of a nice basic not too sure about this moto jacket actually I thought this was very nice but just I don't know if it's something I need right now I actually do have a moto jacket but it's kind of in a wine color I should try to drag that out of my closet and see if it still fits me <laughs> um, I actually did really like this this cardigan and it's kind of a nice chunky cardigan and I don't really have anything like this right um, right now I don't think I have to check through my closet <laughs> sometimes you forget right what you have but overall I thought it was a pretty good box I thought the items looked nice and they fit so that's always a plus <laughs> but let me know what you guys thought of the clothes and if you've tried short story before and what you think of this service okay but now I'm gonna go ahead and get my favorite furry friend my very loyal companion Kaya to help me say goodbye okay and here is Miss Kaya <laughs> yeah I always wake her up when she's in the in the middle of a nap and she looks very very scruffy right now because um, I did call the groomer but I couldn't get in <laughs> I couldn't get in until next week so after that she'll be very beautifully groomed <laughs> but it always happens like whenever I take her to the groomer my husband says oh I can pick her up but he picks her up and then he doesn't make the you know the follow-up appointment if I don't schedule the next appointment when I pick her up I usually forget to schedule her and then I don't think about it until she gets really bad <laughs> So that's why she looks so scruffy and now she's on YouTube so we need to keep her looking her best right Kaya right <laughs> but anyway that's all I have for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel I do a lot of shopping hauls and unboxing videos and if you enjoy watching those kind of videos please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time